Alice, uh, Tom Harwood, our deputy political editor there, having, of course, travelled across on the Eurostar with Rishi Sunak earlier. Um, Tom, I don't know what your tally is, but I think we counted three hugs uh, and a shared umbrella. Um, quite a reset from Boris Johnson's day. Yes, three hugs, pats on the back. Speaking of me ami from, uh, from Rishi Sunak and a little bit of English as well from uh, Emmanuel Macron. This was a relationship rekindled today and clearly beyond all of the uh, surface level imagery that we're getting, imagery of friendship, that word that has been repeated so many times today, there is some concrete cooperation as well, some commitments to the future but also quite a lot of money changing hands. I suppose the proof of the pudding here will be in the eating. The Prime Minister was keen to stress how much he believes the deals that have been already in place, most uh, notably that deal that was signed between the United Kingdom and France after COP, the climate summit in Sharm el-Sheikh in, uh, in, in Egypt, where these two leaders met for the first time. That led to a boost deal of the United Kingdom and France having for the first time cooperative patrols on beaches around Calais, around northern France. And uh, according to the Prime Minister, according to Number 10, that has had a great deal of success. Dozens of criminal gangs broken. The Prime Minister said again today, an almost unbelievable figure, of thousands of boats stopped this year alone. It's clear that Number 10 think that there is, uh, that they are onto a winning trend track with this policy. They just need to do more of it. And that's potentially why we hear that really quite eye-watering figure of almost yeah. 600 million, of almost 500 million pounds today. Yeah. And an indication, uh, according to the official handout, the French will contribute significantly more funding in terms of those figures, including this new detention centre. One wonders what the reaction will be there in France to this, particularly this discussion then, of course, about the returns agreement with France. I think Rishi Sunak just also saying he hoped in future the UK may still be able to sign a returns agreement with France, although clearly Macron wants that done on an EU basis. Yes, it was interesting to hear just now inside the Elysee Palace, where we were all sitting listening to that press conference, Emmanuel Macron referenced an EU-wide returns agreement specifically. It's very clear that the French wish here is to ensure that with the meetings of the Calais group, that's a group that includes the United Kingdom and northern European countries that meets annually, uh, into the future, France and the United Kingdom are looking to so secure some sort of returns agreement or indeed work towards that returns agreement, perhaps as a pack of Calais group countries. That will be something to look at further into the future. But we heard United from these two leaders today that it's not just about the uh, longer or medium-term ambition of a returns agreement. The short-term problem is stopping people travelling across the channel in the first place. Yep. That's a problem that both the President of France and the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom want to stop. Yeah, and, and President Macron indicating 55 groups dismantled because of joint cooperation so far, which is quite a significant number. Uh, Tom, for the moment, in the Elysee Palace, thank you for that, but let's stay in...